some time ago, this microscope took a nasty fall thanks to my dog. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna open this microscope up and try to repair it. Let's get it open. So here we have the microscope and as we can see, here we have the micro USB port that go into the spot with the, where the micro USB is supposed to go. This whole plastic assembly comes off. That should be free. I think this just pulls apart. And I think this is a great time to use the microscope. I'm gonna show you how one of the screws on the motherboard looks in comparison to this. Yeah, it looks giant. So these are really tiny traces. Voice over me here. I'm not gonna bore you with too much footage since this repair took many, many hours. I started out by finding some USB micro ports I had removed from other things. Then I compared them to the original one just to make sure I would have backups. And boy, did I need them. I then tried to use these pads to rebuild the traces, but that turned out to be a huge hassle. I think I need better tweezers. Moving on, I soldered some new traces using enameled wire. Honestly, that went super good. I'm very inexperienced in doing trace repairs, so I was pretty proud of myself. Little did I know, that pride would not last long. After successfully adding some new traces, I went on and added some solder mask. The reason is that these wires may not seem like it, but they're really tiny, and the solder mask keeps the wires from desoldering themselves when I try to solder them to the USB port later. So, it's been an embarrassing amount of time uh, that I've been trying to get this port on, and I just can't do it. Um, I think the next steps now are to get a bunch of different USB micro ports. The, the first port was okay, um, I just messed up with one bit there at the end. Um, and the second port wasn't even worth trying out actually. 